Alright, so survivors, welcome back to Stranded Deep. We got a piggy wiggy here looking right at the beach. I have no idea where he came from. I think they only come out at night. But he looks awfully friendly. So, what should we do? Should we, uh, should we befriend him? Uh, no, just, no, let's eat him. Oh my gosh, he's got my spear in his face. One spear, <laughs> I have to kill him. Hopefully he bleeds to death. Bring, hey, get back my spear, man. I'm gonna need that. Uh, machete, get him, get him. Oh my gosh, you little thief. All right, is that the way we're gonna play? Good thing you're so slow. Oh, he died. Did he die? No. Oh, get him. Ugh. We got stuck on a rock. I can't kill him. Oh, I think he's dead. I think he's dead, guys. Get my spear. And where is he? I don't see him. Oh, here he is. Dead boar. Oh, let's pick him up and carry him over here. So anyway, welcome back to Stranded Deep. I was just collecting lashings. Oh, and look, another bucket. Cool. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's so adorable. Uh, I don't know if I want to eat this little guy. I mean, I could I could use a companion out here, don't you think? Uh, but look at this, guys. Oh my gosh! I need I need I need water. Hold on. Let me. Uh, I think I can get some water out of these koala fruits. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Well, let's just bring him back home. I can't pick him up, put him in my inventory. I have to drag him. And I'll think about what I want to do to him. I'm actually not hungry. I'm not that hungry. So I could, um, you know, maybe maybe we can just be buddies. Oh, there's my camp over there. <laughs> maybe we can just be friends. Can I throw you? Because dragging you just isn't working out right. I'm walking really funny. Am I, I'm squatted, that's why. Come on, Piggy Wiggy. You're going to love my campsite. It's so warm and cozy. You can see it from here. See? See the fire? I'm gonna put you down. Whoa! I'm flying this pig. When pigs fly, what the? Ow! That hurt. <laughs> I was riding a pig. Okay, I've heard the expression before, but I didn't know it was true. I'm gonna put you right here. Unfortunately, you don't have a friend. I had a um, a seagull here, guys. Remember? I remember I stabbed him. Unfortunately, I ended up eating my um, my seagull by accident. I took him out to play with him. And I ate him. All right, so I think uh, I'm gonna break down some of these trunks. I'll throw some more wood on the fire. Oh, there's my seagull! He's standing on the fire. He's alive. He's still on the spit. I thought I ate him. <laughs> oh, I didn't eat you. Oh, I'm so happy I didn't eat you. I thought I did. Maybe I didn't save it after I ate him. But there we go. We got the plastic seagull. And the, and the plastic wild boar for the garden. Whenever we decide to make our garden, that's very nice. Garden uh, decoration. <laughs> and I'm going to need some sleep, but I still need water. Um, and that is kind of a priority here. It's getting kind of dire. Let me make this thing right now if I can. So what I'm after is this uh, water um, distiller thing right here. Water collector. I need a fire spit. I have it. Uh, uh, six of eight sticks. And lashings, so we're getting we're getting mighty close. I'm gonna need a lot more lashings, though. Wee! There you go, Gil. I knew you could fly. I mean, look at you. He's doing stunts. Whoa! And now loop de loops. This bird's got skills. He must have been a circus bird at one time. <laughs> Definitely the talentedest bird on the island, no doubt. Here, take a nap. That was hard work. Good job. Right next to uh, my piggy wiggy there. Anyway, welcome back everybody to Stranded Deep. This is the real intro, unlike the last few minutes of me uh, frantically trying to kill a pig, which I was able to do, but I think I might just keep him as a friend instead of eating him. Let's see what the day is here. 24th of November, two days survived, it's early in the morning, 78 degrees Fahrenheit, nice and warm. Uh, my health hurts a little bit from falling from a flying pig. Oh, I'm getting thirsty right there in front of your very eyes, and I'm a little tired. Okay, let's get to work. I think I have everything I need now, guys, to make this, um, this water collector here. The fire spit, the sticks, the tarp, the lashings. Oh, no, the tarp! That means, uh, my pets are gonna lose their little bed. Oh, well. Such is life. And I just slap it on the top. What the? And I get it right on top here. Uh-oh. Uh, something's in the way. Mm, no. Oh boy. All right. Let me let me move some stuff out of the way. That's weird. Or maybe I have to have some of the stuff in my inventory. I don't know. Here, just back the stuff up a little bit. Come on, rocks. 
Yeah, see all this time, wasting time here. I got stuff to do. Uh, by the way, I had a lot more footage from the last episode that I had to scrap because I had that audio syncing issue. Well, there we go. It fits. <gasps> it was the rocks in the way. Oh, look. It only, oh, it would only use one tarp? Oh. Oh, good. You guys get to keep your bed. Nice. I thought it said two tarps. Oh, no, one tarp. All right, whatever. Good. I'm not going to complain. So now all I have to do is put my bucket of water on. So I just want to pick it up with one and make sure this is where it gets tricky if you press the wrong button or if you're not touching what you're interacting with you don't see the interact key you end up drinking the darn thing and it's seawater and that, that's not good all right let's light the fire and oh i need another bucket i need another bucket up top duh pick it up pick it up like that see oh man and a water collector oh oh great all right did i put that on the right one I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that's the one with the water. So what, the steam's rising or something? I mean, this is like water collector collects water from above and uh, from rain and dew and stuff, right? All right, that's good enough. Okay, now we need to make sure we have... Um, you guys. Um, we're going to have to throw some more wood on that fire to make sure it doesn't go out until this condensation distillation process is complete. So we're going to chop up some of these trunks. I wonder if I can just put trunks right on. I don't know. Oh! That's what I'm talking about, folks. See, this is what you do. You just dump it on there like that. That's what I couldn't figure out yesterday. Although you didn't see that part because that particular footage was uh, was scrapped. So yeah, I had to scrap. I had to scrap some of the footage of me going back out to the uh, that ruin, that shipwreck there, and another little shipwreck on the other side, which we're going to go back to because, again, of the audio syncing issues. But let me show you what I found. I got a carburetor. I got some duct tape. I got this nice axe. I got a jerry can that I guess is empty. I don't think it has gas in it. Let's throw it in the fire and find out, right? Let's pick that up. Let me see. I think it tells you. 100% durability. I suppose that means it has gas in it. So let's make sure that's not too close to the flames. And there we go. All right. So, I'm not sure what to expect here or when this is going to be done. It says spit, bucket of seawater, and then water collector bucket. Just want to make sure we got this right. A basic freshwater collector that can be used to boil salt water from one container and collect the freshwater runoff in another container. Yeah, so the steam, like I said, the steam will rise. I guess the, the condensation collects on the, on the upper um, tarp. Yeah, okay. Hey, that will work. All right, I'm going to chop up some uh, some more wood here, but let me see. I hope that thing's fast. I don't know how fast it's, it works, but I'm going to need that water pretty quickly here. Because I'm down to one little nub left of hydration. And I think I have uh, exhausted all of my water supply on this island, including drinkable fruits. Although, I guess there's coconuts, right? There's probably more coconuts out there. We'll go get some more coconuts. I just want to put more wood on this fire. I just don't want the darn thing to go out in the middle of this process. You know how these video games work. You probably have to start all over again. Right? Boom. Oops. Okay, it's full. That's as much wood as I can get on there. Good enough. Okay, got my axe. Got my spear. Uh, let's drop lashings. Drop that. I want to keep some free hands here. And All right, let's go. Let's go get some coconuts. I'm going to need some some kind of... Oh, there's a coconut right here. I need some kind of... Uh, what the... Holy crap, it's a snake! Oh, you're dead. You're dead. You're so dead. Oh, darn, I missed him! All right, hold on, buddy. We're friends. Just friends. Just you and me. Living together on the island here. Friends! Holy mackerel, I missed... You dead? Just die, snake! I heard him rattle. It's a rattler, I guess. I think I'm... Maybe I'm not hitting him with it. It's like going right through him. It is a snake after all, right? Should I even bother with this? Maybe I can eat him. Oh, gosh, it's a night snake. What are you doing out in the day? Ow! Hey! You're a night snake! <laughs> I couldn't kill him with my spear? All right, you better run. Maybe I can kill him now, and he's not coiled. Oh, man, my heart is racing. 
Uh, I don't like that he's hidden now and I can't. I don't know where he went. Yeah, I did a little damage. <gasps> I'm thirsty. All right, let's go get the cocoa nut. Can I get that cocoa nut? Mm, that's stinking bored. All right, let's get this thing. I can't see my mouse cursor because of the clouds. I'm not sure if this is even going to work. Oh, it did! <laughs> that's so great! I love the physics in this game! Oh, that's fab! All right. That was great. Let's drop it down here and smash it up and keep our eyes off of that stinking snake, man. So it was weird that I couldn't hit him. I don't know if that's a bug or by design or what. It was all coiled. Drink that down, baby. Hmm. Just one sip out of that thing. Yeah. That's kind of a stinker. Oh, watch the toes. Watch the toes. No accidents happen. Swing your axe. Hit your toe. And then it's all over. And you bleed out out here. If you don't bleed out, you get an infection. And... Oh, that was food, but not hydration. That was kind of a waste, I suppose. All right. Let's go spear some more coconuts. That was fun. That was very fun. The palm tree. Oh, there's a coconut. Yeah, grab that one. Just drink all these. So yeah, this would be probably your first food and uh, food and water source at least for a little while. Oh, there's a whole bunch of coconuts up here, man. Should I climb or should I throw? I'm gonna throw because it seems safer. Whoa! Nice. A strike. <laughs> I got a strike. Strike is good, right? Yeah, like bowling, I think. All right. Oh, how did I miss you, little tree? Young palm. These guys, maybe they're regrowing. That would be great. Although, maybe not so great, because then you, you never leave your island, right? I'm hoping my audio is still synchronized. I might quit and check it real quick. Just save the game, check the uh, audio, and come right back. Just want to double check that, because that was a nightmare trying to get that audio. Um, synchronized up, but I couldn't do it completely, but I spent a couple of hours trying. did the best I could. I've done the best I could. Now, didn't I see another coconut? I think one rolled away. I thought there were three coconuts. What is that? Is that an eel? Or my coconut? Oh, that's my coconut. Rolled all the way down here. I knew it. I'm not losing my mind. All right, I'm going to go save it right quick. And then um, we will uh, we'll, we'll reconvene. I want to double check this uh, the audio. You know that snake is right over here. I should probably put fires all the way around my camp to keep the snake away. That would work. Whoa! No, no, pick that up. Pick that up. No, no. Let's throw this on. Let's check the water. Water collector. Bucket of seawater. I don't know. But, oh, it has some. There's a little droplet in there. So it's got a little water in there. And I don't know if I can drink it right out of the bucket, though. You know what I'm saying? So that could be a problem. Because I don't have any other means of drinking it. I don't have, like, a little water bottle. All right, anyway, let me go save it real quick here. And then I'm going to go check that audio. I just want to make sure this is working, guys. All right, stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Everything actually looks pretty good. I'm excited. Yeah, no audio desync to speak of. Hey, Piggy Wiggy, what are you doing off your bed? How did you do that? Oh, I thought he was asleep. There we go. Uh, so I'm just going to let this thing go, I think. Oh, look at that. We're up to two droplets. That's excellent. So I'm going to toss some more wood on here, and then I want to utilize this time. I don't want to sit here and wait for this thing all day. So I'm thinking maybe we'll... Um, what time is it? Oh, wait. I have a watch for that. <laughs> uh, what's that? Three, Three-ish? Almost three? So, all right, I'm all, that's good with the wood. Thinking about maybe taking the raft over to another island. Because this one doesn't really have anything anymore that I'm interested in. Um, but, let me just see how my hydration is. Oh, gosh, yeah. Well, I'm going to have to take care of this right now. I don't know how long this uh, that process is going to take with the... Oh, jeez, I had that many. With the uh, water bucket over there. So, I figure we might as well... Be smart and use this time while we're waiting to be um, to be efficient and proficient and proactive, etc. And I think maybe scooting over to another island and having a look around would make sense. I had a feeling there was another one over here. I'm gonna skin you alive, son. Gotcha. Yeah, let's drink you up. Oh no, I can't drink you yet. I gotta poke a hole in you. All right. 
All right, you know, I'm going to poke holes in every single one of you first. Seems like the most efficient way to do this. Is it getting dark already? Is the sun setting? Or is it just a cloud? No, it's just the sun's behind a cloud. By the way, I had volumetric clouds on low. And uh, there was a tip at the start of the game that said, uh, if you can turn volumetric clouds off if it's affecting your performance. And I think it was affecting my performance. Uh, game running performance, that is. So I have... What, did I just take a bite out of this thing? I'm trying to drink it. Yeah, it, makes, it does make a crunching sound, doesn't it? Yeah, it sure does. Anyway, um, so I turned off the volumetric clouds, and it seems to be running a little bit better right now. Despite the fact that I have a 1070 in this computer, 16 gigs of RAM, and a pretty decent CPU, it still seems a little sluggish, but that is probably because it's not completely optimized yet. It's going to take some time for that. It's still an early access game. So we will uh, we will forgive it for now. I mean, it runs great, actually. I mean, the, 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 the slowdown is probably due to my recording software. All right, let's eat some of these cocoa nuts. And I think we're looking pretty good now. The only thing I need, really, at this point is some sleep. So... Maybe what what I'll do is just stay here in this island for the rest of this day. And then in the morning, we'll take a full day and go off to another island. Yeah, look at that. We almost have all the water here. This is great. It's almost done. Driftwood. It says driftwood. Yeah, so you know what? Then let me just work on all this wood. Let me grab some more wood here and get some firewood ready to roll. And also some more building materials. And then I'm going to hit the sack. And we'll go across the way. Whoa, look out! Wood flying. Oh, jeepers crow. Did it land on Piggy Wiggy? Sorry, buddy. Oh, look at him. He's all twitching. I think he got hit by that flying stick. Oh, poor guy. Well, you know what? He'll recover. He's pretty tough. All right, I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. It's now night time. We've got, oh, we've got five droplets of water. You can even hear it dripping. Did you hear that? That was pretty cool. Okay, let's shut off the fire, although I don't know if I'm going to be able to see now. And I want to just get closer here. I don't want to walk into the water. Water collector, bucket, eat it, interact. Um, and drink it. Yep, I'm crunching it. That's one niblet. <laughs> Two niblets. Awesome! We're good. We're 100% hydrated. So I'm going to put this down. I want to make sure it doesn't spill. Uh, I wonder if I should just put it back up here. hope that doesn't mess it up. Oh, look at that. It remembers how much I drank. It knows how much I drank. Great. So now I can just take this off and just redo the whole process again. I'm glad I can drink out of that bucket and not have to um, um, get another drinking container. Yeah, I might as well keep it going. I mean, wood is... Uh, Kind of an easy resource to get. A lot easier to get that than fresh water. Am I in the water? Oh, the bats are back. Okay, yeah, um, I'm going to go to sleep, and then uh, we'll head out in the morning. We're going to go to another island and see if we can find some more wrecks. And maybe grab some more coconuts and some other things. Should probably make a new axe. Yeah, I'm going to make another stone axe just in case. Because I don't want to use up my good axe yet. Oh, guys, a bat just stopped in that tree right there. Two of them, two of them. Okay, hold on. How far can I chuck this spear? Let's go right about there. Got one! <laughs> it's not what I was aiming at, but I don't care. <laughs> a widow to the left. That's what that was. All right, pick up that bat. I got. Wow, it's huge! All right, put him in. That other one's still there? Really, Dubby? You didn't see your friend just get skewered? You better run. Man, they're not too bright around here. They haven't seen a lot of humans with spears, I guess. So now we have a bat. Man, we got a whole little zoo going on here. <laughs> it's a bat. 100% durability. We're going to drop you right here with Gil and uh, Piggy Wiggy. Whoa, he's giant. Look at the wingspan on you. I'm going to come up with a name for bat. We'll, call you just, we'll just call you Batty. Kind of baddie. He's baddie is standing around when people chuck spears at you. Although I guess he didn't really see it coming, unlike the other one. 
All right, let's check the water here. Okay, yeah, I guess I did get seawater in there because we have some fresh in there too. Good. I'm gonna put one more stick on here and then I'm gonna go to bed. That's great. So I, I, I guess I've killed all the animals. Except for that snake, that wily snake. I'm not sure what I can do with it. What was my axe doing on the ground? I guess I dropped it by accident. All right, I'm gonna hit the sack right now and save it and sleep it and wake up in the morning and we're gonna head out.